we're going to look at a basic simulation using AUKAD and see what we can do. First we need to launch the AUKAD capture tool. As you can see here, we're just launching it. I'm using version 16, which is the most modern demo. When we've got AUKAD capture started, we've got the capture window and down here we have something called the session log. I'm going to create a new project with file, new, project. As you can see here, I've got a directory tree of files all set up. I've got a particular hard drive called my S drive, PG for my postgraduate simulations, and inside here I'm going to create a new directory to house all of this particular folder. I'm going to call it test. I'll delete this simulation later. Okay, so now I've got the directory test. I'm going to name my simulation. I'm going to call it test as well. Please note, when you're doing any of the work for this module, you need analog and mixed signal AD. This means you will be entering a schematic diagram, but then you'll actually be doing something useful with it and simulating. The others are for different parts of AUKAD. Click OK. We're creating a blank project. Click OK. We're now going to have several windows open up. The first window that we can see here, the large window with the dots, that's the grid where we're going to place our components. The side panel window is where we've got all of our detail. Let's now put something very basic on this circuit and get a simulation going. I'm going over to this icon at the side which is place component and I'm now going to put a resistor on the schematic. Resistors are in the analog library. I'll place the resistor on the circuit diagram and I need to rotate it. The R key will do the rotating. That's that on. I now need a ground. Ground has to have this zero symbol, otherwise it's not real. I'm now going to connect a power supply. I am very familiar with all of the commands inside here, so I know it's called VDC and it's in the source library. Click OK. I now need to wire up my circuit. So I'm clicking and clicking. As you can see, it's extremely easy to form. What you have to do to actually get this to work is to click on the nodes. And then you can hit end wire. I'm now going to set this to a 10 volt supply. I'm going to change these resistors to um, 8K and down here to 2K, that means the volts between them in the middle here on this potential divider should be 2 volts. 2 divided by 8 plus 2 times 10, 2 volts. Okay. What we now need to do is to do a basic simulation. That's another tutorial. Here you've just entered a very, very quick, simula uh, quick circuit. Um, obviously one of the main things that you need to do is always click hit in save to save your data and store it inside the directory. As a note, if I go to my directory tree here and look at my postgrad tree, I've got a directory here or a folder called test and there's lots of files inside there. There's all of these files, there's a project file, and there's a folder and inside that there's nothing at the moment because there's no simulations. But you need everything that's inside this directory tree for one particular simulation.